I had a really interesting conversation with my husband a few days ago about the internet and social media. And my husband is, as the kids refer to, a precious cinnamon roll. He has no social media presence at all, and I absolutely love him for it. But at the same time that he has none, I have like lots right now. And so we had this conversation about the differences there, and he asked me this question that I didn't have an answer for and I never really thought about, but I found so incredibly interesting. And that was, how is it that this thing, this internet thing that hasn't really been around for all that long a time, become such an integral part of our lives that it is, it's necessary. It is a necessary part of our lives now. And for the fact that it hasn't really been around that long, I'm older technically ish than consumable internet culture. But yet at the same time, I am so entrenched in that, that, yeah, I don't know. I found it interesting. And as happenstance would have it, that weekend we actually stayed at a cabin in the woods and the internet connection ended up kind of being pretty terrible. So I used that as an opportunity to take a little bit of a social media hiatus. And in that, I found that when I came back, I really missed the internet. I, I have a good little bubble that I have created that is um, a good and positive place for me on the internet. And so coming back was actually like coming back home in a way um, without sounding too weird. And I'm really grateful for that part of the internet that, that it's different from real life because in real life you don't have people walking around saying, I love cats and I hate bacon. I mean, really, if you do have that, then you kind of lower your gaze and quicken your pace because you don't really want to be around people that are just shouting things like that. But on the internet, that happens all the time. And you can say, yes, I agree with you or I disagree with you. And you can have more of this interaction than people tend to have in real life, which sounds bad, but is true. And I think that's what I really like about the internet is you can kind of pick and choose the internet the interactions that you have. You can decide which things from the internet tree fit you and you can collect them. And like me, I have my nice little bubble of beautiful people and beautiful experiences. And I'm so incredibly grateful for all of them. And I am grateful for you. And I am grateful because I've been able to create things that have inspired other people to create things. And that truly is the most precious gift I think you can have and or give to another person. And so for me, I still feel like the internet is a great place. And I'm not unaware of the fact that it's not always a great place, but I like that I can make it be what I want it to be. And so I'd like to know how you feel. Do you see the internet just being this horrible place where all kinds of really bad things happen? Or is it similar to life in that, yes, that also happens, but that you can also choose what you make of it? Or tell me anything that matters to you, because I want to know what matters to you. Did I just steal another YouTuber's sign-off? No. That's actually my really clunky and awkward transition into telling everybody that I'm doing a live show this Saturday, November 14th at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time with the magnanimous Paul Roth. That was his sign-off that I was... Anyway. I'll link to the live show that will be this Saturday in the comments or in the, the description of this video. And I hope to see you there. I'm interested. I'm grateful for the gift that this is, will be. And for the first time in a very long time, we will all see what happens on Thursday.
anyway. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.